This is my floating breakfast, y'all. I just wanted something simple. So I got, um, <laughs> I'm about to slip. I got a granola bar, a granola bowl. I don't even know if y'all can see it. I know I'm short. It has like dragon fruit, coconut, granola. They had a lot of different kinds. That's the one I wanted. And then like a parfait pudding. Watermelon juice and water and some tea, black tea. I ain't gonna lie, it's where it was cold when I first jumped in. This is exciting. I can't believe I have a pool. Because remember y'all, I'm in the pool and my bed right there. So I can get out the pool this way if I want to. So I'm out the pool. Use my hair. Um, let me get y'all set up so I can talk to y'all for a little bit. Then I'm gonna rest because, like I said, I knew they were bringing me breakfast, floating breakfast in the pool at nine o'clock. They asked me what would be the best time, and I told them nine o'clock. But I woke up in the middle of the night and could not go to sleep for hours. Then I finally fell back to sleep and I slept past nine. Usually, y'all, uh, I'm up since I've been here. I've been getting up about five, six o'clock. Oh, and I finally put my mic on too. So y'all probably can hear me a little better, hopefully. Make sure it's on. Yeah, it's on. Hopefully, especially because that little waterfall thing out there is very loud but soon i'll close the door so it won't be so loud all right y'all like my my red one piece can y'all see it <laughs> i'm not one piece two piece go ahead y'all can say it laverne you need to stop trying to put on them damn two pieces looking like two pieces of thick cake <laughs> Not gonna turn around though. I know you already saw that part. They gave me towels. <clears throat> they actually give a whole bunch of towels. Matter of fact, just to show y'all, it's right here. I just I had to bring this towel with me because this is a very special towel. Only very few have actually seen this towel and know why it's so special. But I bought another beach towel too, but I had to bring this one. This one had to come with me. I had to use this one. It's very special. I know some people is like, how can a towel be so special? Trust me, it's very special. That's my train of pool. I don't even know why I'm asking y'all. Where am I supposed to leave the tray in the pool? Um, I hope so. I, I want to believe they're going to come back and come pick it up. But I left it in the pool. They'll come get it. They brought, they brought it here, right? Or I guess I can call and be like, yeah, I'm done. And help out. So they can come get it quick.
okay, y'all, if y'all can hear me. It is loud. And it's hot out here. But it's a good heat. There's a breeze and everything. I might be chocolate. But I'm not crazy. Parasailing so bad, y'all. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go before I leave here. Watch, not here today before I leave Bali. But this is the name of the place that I'm at. Give me some tattoos out here by the tattoo pros. My consultation's at 4 p.m. It's like two something now. So I'm about to go out here. Probably play in the water for about an hour. And then I'm also gotta I gotta check to see um how far the tattoo parlor is from here that I want to go to. Because there's a there's a specific girl or excuse me, woman that I want to do my stuff. So, woo, the water almost got me. And I am back far. These waves are strong. But, um, yeah, there's a specific female I want to do my tattoos. So, I'm going to go see her. And we'll talk up the price and design and stuff today. I bet y'all were laughing just as hard as I was laughing out there at myself. <laughs> Those waves are strong and big. It's like a surfer's beach. This is where like all the surfers are. Basically like anybody who's like Indonesian or Balinesian, Balinese, excuse me. They, um, they're mostly like working out here like they're like the surfer teachers or they're selling things this one right here is the one where like a lot of tourists come kangu is a place where a lot of tourists tourists come especially surfers people who are like you know like the hippie surfer type people um and you'll see a lot of um I won't say you see a lot of Americans because they'll look American, but they won't be. They'd be like British or somewhere from Europe. They'd be American or like, or European. Yeah, I said that right. American or European, mostly. But y'all, yeah, I busted my ass. I tried to stay up. I did. It was fun. I wanted to go further, but I was like, those waves are going to suck me all the way in. And when my mama see this video, she gonna be so scared because she gonna have a flashback to when I was a little girl and a lifeguard had to come save my life at Ocean City. Uh -huh. <laughs> and she kept saying Baywatch came and saved you. It was fun. I want to go 
again. I think I'm gonna have to come back out here again too, yeah. I think I said that already, but I most definitely will have to. Find out when the tides are a little lower. Okay, this kicked my ass. They asked me to try, try to do surfing lessons. I was like, no, no, no. I gotta go too far for surfing lessons. And I cannot stand up out there. I don't think. You know, the ocean water is kind of weird. It can get so deep to the point that you can't stand at it. But then you can go out kind of far and all of a sudden you can stand. It just depends on how the water's getting pulled in and out. But it's pretty, y'all. So I'm stopping at lunch at this place called Score Sports Bar. I feel like I should have went across the street to Fishbone Local. They probably better, but but I just need a quick bite before I go to this consultation. So hopefully I order quick and hopefully they make food fast because I gotta go having a hard time set up a gojek or a grab to come pick me up keep to my own got connection on my phone but i know i do i think it's because i'm sitting at another resort and they probably blocking it but i'm just here to eat here goes my ice and water water remember like I said you cannot drink the water here so they give you a lot of um, bottle and glass bottled water but it's mineral as long as it ain't sparkling I'm good I hope my food come out soon because I don't want to be behind for my appointment I think I'm a horrible client or I'm not for real. I'm about to text them, so I'm a little behind. My meal, I am being so greedy. And I want to eat it all probably. I'll probably take it to go. or eat it all and eat again late tonight. But I'll show y'all what I got once. Um, once it's here. It's busy, let me show y'all the street. like a lot of mopeds out here but I told him I ain't getting one come bring me a car I ain't ready <laughs> I told y'all I was gonna be greedy so I got lamb fried rice and I got a chicken burger I was just gonna get the chicken burger but then I saw the lamb fried rice and I was like I gotta get both Cause I've been wanting me a burger and I ended up getting chicken anyway. But I'm about to eat. They gave me ketchup too and I don't even eat ketchup. Let's see what it tastes the same. Um, you know what? I don't taste like ketchup.